Hi guys, welcome back to the next preparation video of my Impact M3 Slug Tune. In the previous video I already have installed the Slug Power Kit to get some extra power and get those slugs really flying. Now with more power and higher regulator pressure the shockwave that goes through the rifle also comes bigger and trying to get some better harmony and accuracy is absolutely important. So one thing that can help out a lot is one of these. This is a carbon fiber liner sleeve by FX Airguns to stiffen up your barrel. So let's get a brief overview of them and get one installed in my M3 as well. Let's get started. So FX has announced the carbon fiber liner sleeves a while back together with the harmonic barrel tuner to greatly improve harmonics and therefore accuracy as well. The harmonic barrel tuner isn't regularly available yet so I'll make a separate video on that item once I get my hands on one. But what I do have today are the carbon fiber liner sleeves to slide over the liners in order to stiffen up the barrel and improve the oscillation of the barrel while shooting. The carbon fiber sleeves are available in all calibers from 177 all the way up to 30 caliber and they are in different barrel lengths that a FIX makes. You have a 500, a 600 and a 700 millimeter. I have a handful of them to install in various of my rifles but today I'll be installing the 700 millimeter 22 caliber for my slug tune. Installing one of these is pretty easy but I had some requests in the comments of people to show how it's done. So let's get right to it. So I have my 700 millimeter 22 caliber OEM barrel and the first thing you do simply undo your shroud slide it off then we'll need some tools 10 millimeter spanner on the end of the barrel undo the nut be careful when it's too tight those threads are very sharp and I uh, already cut my finger once with them so just a little precaution. Take it out, pull out your liner. If your liner is a little bit too stiff, you can always gently take some vice grips with some protective caps on the end so you don't damage your liner and gently take it out. Like so. Put the tools to the side. Originally there are three o-rings at different spots on the liner to keep it centered in the barrel high housing but we all know this is a little bit a pain in the high knee to get them installed uh, into the barrel again not knowing if they moved from place and if they are where they really need to be. Therefore up until now I used some uh, electrical wrap tape, uh, simple electrical tape or some shrinkage tube to put around the liner, uh, pulling it around, making sure it's a nice snug fit into the barrel housing, keeping the liner in place that way and uh, nicely centered also. It worked great, but that is all over now with the carbon fiber sleeves FX has released, making installation a lot easier and the barrels stiffer as well. There are two ways of installing this. One is using epoxy glue to make a really good bond together and marry them permanently or you can just slide it in and it gives you the possibility to reuse the carbon fiber liner sleeve when changing between superior or heavy liner. Since the tolerances on these are very tight I will go for option number two and be able to reuse it as I will be swapping between different liners to see which give me the best results. So with the o-rings removed let me quick this one out. Also check if there are no o-rings left behind as there is one by me that was still left behind in the barrel tube which could cause uh, a bad installation or some problems down the road. Then it's as easy as taking your carbon fiber sleeve, sliding your liner nicely through it, gives a nice perfect fit like so. Then you slide your liner back into your barrel housing, making sure you put the one with the groove towards your breech end. Also very nice fit, there is no play in it, so that's why I'm not using the glue part. Making sure it seats all the way behind, 
taking your barrel nut, sliding it over, making sure the threads are starting nicely. Snug it up with a 10 millimeter. For this you can clamp it into a vise, for instance. It doesn't have to be super tight, so just to make sure everything is tightened. Then the last part is your shroud to put back on. It can be a little challenging making sure to have it seat on the end, like so. And you're ready to enjoy your stiffened barrel. Now, for the other method, if you would decide to go ahead and glue it, you can use a two-part epoxy, mix it together, then you smear it over your liner on the outside, you see here. Then you take your uh, carbon fiber sleeve, slide it over, then I would uh, rotate it a bit inside so the epoxy gets a nice even coating on the inside of the carbon fiber sleeve. Wipe the excess of the edges so you uh, don't get epoxy everywhere. And then one very important crucial thing is that you will have to measure where you exactly leave uh, your uh, carbon fiber liner or liner sleeve to harden. You always have to make sure your barrel end nut can still fit on all the way to the back. So if you glue it too much to the front, you can't uh, screw it on anymore and you will be tightening against your liner sleeve, which is not the meaning. Also, you can't go too far to the back, otherwise it won't fit anymore nicely into the bridge. So that's one thing to be very careful with. Then once you have it uh, glued like this, I would advise to leave it overnight, let it harden. Once it hardened, I would install it into the barrel sleeve as you don't want any resin or epoxy to get uh, into your barrel sleeve, uh, marrying your uh, newly assembled carbon fiber sleeve and your liner together with your uh, barrel sleeve and merging everything together and you won't be able to take it out anymore. But that's how I would do it when using the epoxy method. Well, that's all there is to it guys. Whether you want to glue it or not, I leave up to you. Just pay some extra attention when you use the glue that you have the carbon fiber sleeve in the right spot and wipe the excess of epoxy off. I will go ahead and mount these now in my other barrels. I thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, join me in the next video where I'll be tuning the M3 for velocity and consistency in preparation for the tests I will do on the range. Hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.